Hello, did you make some Easter eggs with newspaper and flour and water paste? The ones I made now are absolutely rock hard. So we can decorate them. Um, if you want to, you can add a string, uh, which is useful if you want to hang, hang them up to make an Easter tree. Um, or if you're just going to leave them in a bowl, then you don't need a string. But if you do want a string, um, I've just used a piece of tissue paper as a um, masking tape because I haven't got any masking tape um, so I've just attached a string to the top of my egg I'm just going to put another piece of tissue on so I've put some glue on my strip of tissue and then I'm going to use that as if it were um, sellotape to just attach the string well this is a piece of wool actually so round it goes. Now you can add a layer of tissue on top of the newspaper to give it a, um, a neutral base um, before you decorate it. Or if you're going to paint it, then it doesn't really matter. So I've had a go covering this with tissue, so that, that will be my base. So this one here, um, I covered it with some pink tissue, but it's quite... Um, dull because it, I used the flour and water paste um, so it's it's a bit dusty so I'm going to cover that with glitter um, and for this I am using PVA glue which you might have um, some at home um, you can thin it down um, or just use it as it is so I'm going to have a go at covering it with glue and then putting the glitter on let's see if it works here we go so I'm going to Put glue all over it um, and because I've got the string attached it's easier to hold um, so ooh, it's gonna get a bit gluey it doesn't matter if it's bumpy because I think the glitter will hide all the bumps on this Easter egg a little bit more glue okay, I think I've got it all the way around and all I need to do is a bit of sprinkling. Okay, here we go. I've got some glitter and a few sequiny bits in here, a few leftovers. So I'm going to tip them from one pot into another pot to catch all the bits that don't stick to the glue. Here we go. It seems to be sticking all right. It's looking very sparkly. Well, that's not bad at all. So, my egg is looking very sparkly there. And there's a few bits that need a bit more glue and a bit more glitter. So, I'm going to add a bit more at the top. I think I missed that bit. I don't want to go all over with my brush, otherwise the glitter will come off. And I think I need a bit more on the bottom as well. So, let's tip it back the other way. shape. So that's my sparkly egg, which I think will look very pretty when I've attached it to my Easter tree. That's one. Now the other one um, is going to try and have a go at decorating. This was decorated with um, string and I've wound it around very, very carefully, but I do think it's pretty. Or we're going to have a go at winding the string round like that. So what we do is cover our egg with lots of glue and wind the string round and then we can add a bit more glue. Here we go. Right. Glue first. And we can put lots on. I haven't got a string on here, so that's okay. And it's going to be very sticky and a bit messy, but that's okay. So glue all over. And then, here we go, with the string. I'm going to leave a little end because that will be able to pat onto my tree. 
right here we go so i'm pressing it down i'm just going to wind it round and round all directions it's difficult to get it a bit random but we can try right over the all over and ooh, i think i might need a bit more glue so i'm going to add more another layer of glue on top of my string and then when it dries we're going to paint it so i just want that glue to hold all the string on and i'm going sideways and up and down it should give it a really nice texture you could pretend it's a magical dragon's egg if you like so and i think that's about as much winding as i can do or a bit more maybe a bit more glue with the pva glue it dries translucent it doesn't really matter if you put too much on Put it quite tight now and I think I will stop there so I've got two ends actually I'm going to join them so that is my stringy egg and when it's dried we'll paint it bye